at the uh, front door of my house. I have this front door kind of juts out, I don't know, close to three feet. And so I have this little corner here that is pretty much pointless. So I thought, why don't I make a deck box so it fit into there? So my space overall is a little over 36 wide. Um, it's actually about, I think, 41, or no, 39 deep. And height, I could do it whatever I want, but I decided just to make it easy so all my cuts are pretty much the same size. I'm going to do a 36 by 36, and I'm going to do 30 inches high. I was thinking about doing 2 feet, but I don't think that's going to be tall enough. So here's my little sketch, and basically what we have is, this is the lower layer, and this will be repeated twice, and that is just 4 2 by 4s that are 34 and a half inches long. So I'm going to have a butt going up against the side here, and a butt from this board going up against this side. So all the boards all the way around are the same size. There's going to be two layers of those. One on the ground, and then one up about 30 inches. And then these little marks on the inside there are the 30 inch long 2x4s that are standing upright. Now the back and this side here are against the wall. So I'm not going to cover those with any material. The two sides are going to be one to the front side and the other one goes towards the railing. So I want to have those both closed off so people can't see what's inside of it. Because my plan is actually to have this for deliveries. So if I'm not home and FedEx or somebody drops off a delivery, there's a box right there. I'll write deliveries on the top and the delivery person can just drop the stuff right in the box. And no one's going to see there's boxes sitting on my porch. They'll just see this uh, little duck box and they won't know what's in it. And I live in a part of town where no one's going to come walking up on my porch to see what's in this box. But still, I thought it'd be nice to have this. And it'll provide a little bit of weather protection too, as it'll have a, a rubber type material going around on the exposed sides and a rubber roof as well. So let's get to cutting all these pieces. Cut all the boards to length. I had to use my table saw here as I didn't have the chop saw yet, but whatever method used is unimportant. As long as you don't lose any fingers, everything is good. I prepared all the boards for assembly by installing two construction screws at one end, and then screwed the framework together using a framing square to try and get close to 90 degree corners. I was using rescued lumber, stuff I had torn out of my basement, so it was far less than perfect, but still good enough for an outside deck box. I created two rings, and as you can see there's a bit of wiggle between them. This won't be a problem though. The next step is to install the uprights. These are simply screwed to the inside of the rings on the bottom first. Once all the uprights are joined to the lower ring, I can invert the assembly and place it inside of the upper ring, which is now laying on the ground, and screw those joints together. The wiggle from before is removed in this step, as I can push and pull the corners around to get them flush with the uprights. Now that I have the framework completed, it's time to cut the outer material. Before you ask in the comments, no, I have no idea where you can get this stuff. It's called Rylon? I pick it up as waste scraps from a business. I'm sure you could find other materials that would work well, or even use plywood to create the outside. I'm cutting a piece that is as tall as the box is, and long enough to wrap around roughly three quarters of the box. The sides that will be up against the house wall don't really need to be covered, as the wall will provide protection against the elements. With the Rylon cut to size, it was time to staple it to the frame. I found it easiest to flip the box on its side and staple the upper side, then rotate the box and repeat the process. I could have done better had I put some scraps of 2x4 on the outer corners of the uprights, so I would have had some place to put staples on the middles of the corners. But I'm pleased with how it turned out, and I've had no problems with it. For the lid, I just cut a square of rylon that was a little bigger than the top of the box, and stapled two 2x4s to the underside of it, to give the top a bit of rigidity and some weight, so it won't blow away or anything like that. The boards are intentionally smaller than the rylon, as the back side will be stapled to the box to create a hinge of sorts, and the front lip will sit on the box to hold the lid up. In retrospect, I should have created some sort of notch on the boards, so the weight of the lid would be held up by the 2x4s rather than the Rylon, but I haven't had an issue with it yet, so I guess it's 
probably not such a big deal. And there you have it, how I built a deck box out of nearly all recycled materials and spent only pennies. I had to buy the screws and staples after all. If you decide to build such a project, please use some common sense and follow all proper safety precautions, such as wearing safety glasses and putting on some sunscreen. Thanks for watching. Now go out and do something more with your life than wasting it away watching YouTube videos.